Hey everybody, welcome back to JDM World. Today, we're going to be installing a new wireless access point in our kitchen. In our house, we use Ubiquiti Network's networking gear, specifically the Unify line, and we're going to install this in-wall access point uh, in the kitchen. Installing the in-wall access point is very easy because you can attach this directly to a construction bracket in your home. Um, and assuming that you've got your low voltage cabling already in place, uh, the physical connection of this is very easy. You can either take your raw cable and attach a Ethernet into it and plug directly into the back of this unit, or if you've got a, uh, a receptacle already attached, you can just use a short jumper cable to connect uh, your existing cabling to the box, and I'll show you that in the video. But uh, you know, this, this is very straightforward. There are several different models of the in-wall unit. However, installation of them are all very, very similar. It's almost exa exactly the same. So this video should get you started no matter which unit you have. We'll also go over the integration of this with software and setting this up uh, for use with your existing system. physical install for this WAP is really easy. Just take your Ethernet port, take off your plate, um, remove the keystone jack, and then add a short Ethernet cable that you'll use as a jumper between um, your cabling and the WAP itself. Uh, there's a back plate that will screw right into the uh, low voltage block. Uh, you'll take two screws, line it up, get it, get it straight, and uh, just bolt that straight to the wall. Once you get that connected, then you're going to grab the uh, the second piece of this unit, and this is the actual wireless access point itself. You'll plug into your Ethernet cable, and uh, once you've got this done, you'll have a PoE for this guy, and so he's going to start booting up at that point. There are two screws that'll hold uh, the wireless access point to the back bracket. Um, add those screws, and then the last piece is just to click on your faceplate. Um, depending on the model, there's a screw in the bottom or top that you can use to uh, secure this but uh, I did not use those. The software config for this device is just as easy as the physical installation. All you need to do is open up your management console and you'll see the new WAP there um, uh, needing configuration and needing to be adopted. So go ahead and click on update and adopt and that will download and push a new firmware rev to the device. It'll reboot it as well. Um, it will go through a couple of different state states where you are um, writing, updating, um, rebooting, and then it will be connected. Once you're at that point, um, the device is ready to rock and roll and it will have inherited uh, the configuration that you've already built for all of your wireless access points. If you want to validate this, uh, you can click on your settings for the device itself and you'll see that it has all of the information that's already been pre-configured. Um, so that's really all there is to it. Um, please enjoy. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.